these are the questions I have set up. I'll put it in the link of the description. I already answered a little bit because I, I don't know why, to be honest, but uh, I just I just felt like it. But don't worry about it. So let's let's click the X button. All right, now comes the good part. Let's start. All right, we're gonna be answering some questions uh, uh, based off uh, like what happened. And these are the first questions we usually ask. Even in the website, they usually post these questions. So let's see. What is the IP address of the Windows victim machine? VM stands for victim machine that gets infected. So how the hell do we like start? Like this is confusing as hell, right? So the first thing we can do is go to statistics, right? And go scroll down to where you see conversations, click on it. Click on so you start on Ethernet, click on IPv4. Alright, we see these IP addresses over here. Click packets. So the so the most amount of like data that is sent between computers are like the ones that are talking the most, right? So basically 10 and 217, those IP addresses are talking the most and they're sending the most data. That's what packets are there for, that's the highest amount. So for this part, you gotta know the difference between private IP address and public. If you don't, then yeah, you're kinda you're gonna struggle with this. But 10 is a public IP address and 217 is public. So these two are talking like crazy. So I'm guessing that someone with a private IP address was talking to a, a bad website, which is 217.18.244.196. They were making the most transactions. So I'm going to drill down on this even more by going to uh, HTTP. By filtering for HTTP uh, requests. Yeah, so this is another way to find the victim uh, host that was uh, infected with the malware. So he's the one that requested it. We see source right here. That's the source IP address. Destination, that's the destination. So this source, uh, he made a request. That's what HTTP request means for this filter. It means that we want to see who requested what. So basically, 10.12.3.101 made a get request right here in the info tab. He's basically saying... Uh, get me this uh, file right here mko.exe right that's most likely the malware obviously because you know i put in the answers so let's let's go back so from looking at the statistics going to ipv4 we can conclude that the private ip address is the what you call a victim machine he is the victim so let's put that down 10.12.3.101 101 so let's recap the reason why this guy is a victim is because first he's a private IP address and he's uh, making a request to a public IP address and he has the most data talking between that IP address like see the most number of packets the second reason why he is the victim is because when we do HTTP that request it shows that he is the only like computer that made a request to the uh, website and most likely he downloaded the malware so those are the uh, reasons. All right, what is the host name of the uh, Windows victim machine that gets infected? So we want to find the name of the computer. What I usually do is we got to filter this one out, NBNS. See, we don't see anything. The reason why we don't see anything is because whoever uh, made the PCAP, he didn't include that part of the data. So we're going to have to close and minimize this one, go back, and unzip the this one. It's the reason why I wanted to unzip it because I want to show you what it looks like. Remember, the password is infected, all lowercase. Okay. Exit out of that. Go to the 2014. Yeah, for this, I couldn't find a PCAP that contained all the uh, answer questions because you know it was pretty hard. So, what we do is we go for NBNS, and if you want to find the host name. We go to the right, you see it says it right there, that's the name. But if you actually want to drill down, scroll down to the second box right here. And click NetBIOS name, minimize this with the arrow. Go to additional records, it shows the name right here. And then we go down, it also shows the name right here. That's how you find the host name of the computer. Not all PCAP files are going to have the host name, if you're doing it for practice. But I'm pretty sure in a real business, you're going to see the damn PCAP file with the name in it. So that's the host name. But for now, just say not available, not available because, uh, you know, the guy was too lazy, you know, whoever made this crap. All right. 